What up YouTube, it's Misery Hates Company. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys who my new main is. That's right, I let you guys pick vote all week long on who my new main was gonna be. And I'm not gonna lie, I counted every single night because it changed that frequently. And in the end, it came down, and I kid you not, it came down to about two votes. There were so many votes. I wanna say there was about 80 plus votes. Um, which was just crazy in general. Thank you all for the support on the recent videos about this little competition or vote that I had going on for my account. It was very, very stressful, but I am very excited to now announce who my new main is. Um, it may surprise some of you, and I will go ahead and tell you guys how close the uh, third and second place were, because like I said, second place was within one vote for the last half of this week, and it kept going back and forth. I couldn't believe it but I'll also tell you where number three was. And number three will definitely surprise you guys because it surprised me and they were only off by about three votes. So let's go and jump straight into this video. Okay, so like I said, guys, Magic has been my main for months now, for the last, what, four months? Ever since she came out, she was my main. Now, a lot of you voted on whatever the new hero is in terms of making that my main. I did want to clarify why I didn't uh, make that an option or I didn't really count that. And a lot of you were smart and um, chose either the new hero, but then had a backup option if that wasn't a choice. So thank you guys. And I appreciate that so I can still count your votes. The reason I'm not gonna choose the brand new hero when they come out, whoever it is, is because I'm already gonna be playing them. They're gonna come out, I already have the selector boxes picked for the regional boxes. So I'm gonna be able to get their best regional on them whenever we determine whatever that is. Again, whoever the new hero is and whatever their new best, uh, gear is i'll be able to put it on them without the specialization of course but the reason i'm not gonna be maining them is because i don't want to reinvest all over again on a brand new new hero because that's how the only way you can main them is if you truly double down on it i have not been saving any of my mats or anything i've been working on my full squad because of the new squad um, content in the game for that reason i'm not going to be maining them because we have no idea how long transmute is going to take as well because it took entirely too long on magic and that is just something that is not worth their weight all over again but with that being said i will definitely be making videos on the new hero whoever he or she is and i'm very excited for that but they will not be my main for the foreseeable future at least until we get transmute and that's a different story so the hero that came in third place in the votes which was again, very surprising to me, was none other than Captain Marvel. That's right, you guys picked Captain Marvel, in, or she came in third place with the total number of votes, and she was only off by three votes from, um, from second place. Well, three votes from first place, two votes from second place, because they were literally a vote off, which was crazy. Um, I was actually very worried because Captain Marvel needs a ton of work, and the only reason I was going off of Magic was that I wanted to have more of a presence in PvP, and but still be viable in PVE since we do have some very healthy in-game content for both PVP and PVE right now with some of the new additions. So Captain Marvel did come in third. Now I did just make a video that came out yesterday for her for the full best build. Um, so see, check that video if you haven't already because that does at least help you guys for those of you that are either wanting to main um, Captain Marvel or at least work on her as a alt. But that is the third place person that came in the votes. Second place, like I said, was one vote off from first place. And that, I think, will surprise people too because it was crazy. I mean, they were literally neck and neck almost all week. It, it was going back and forth. To give you an idea, I actually spent millions, and I mean millions of gold, switching to these two heroes to get ready for this just in case either one of them won. I literally fully moved all of my gear, I think three times to one hero, back to the other one, and now back to the winner. Now that we know officially who won, it took a ton of gold and RNG was not in my favor, but I wanted to make sure that I was ready to hit the ground running as soon as the votes had concluded. So the hero that came in second, right in front of Captain Marvel by one vote and right behind the first place by one vote was none other than Storm. Storm would have been a really interesting choice. I was actually kind of hoping she would win there for a while because there aren't a lot of content creators that have uh, mained um, Storm. I know King CJ does main her. In fact, I was messaging him um, earlier in the week when I was like, oh, I'm not even familiar with this like bubble build is that everyone refers to. Like I'm a total Storm noob, but I did move all my gear to her and play with her a little bit to understand her a little bit more in case she did win the votes, but she did lose by one vote. 
Um, especially for those of you, uh, shout out to Indy who became a member just so he could vote three times on Storm. Um, the memberships made it very, very interesting because like I said in that previous video where you guys started the votes, memberships got to count their votes times three. Um, and that truly made a world of difference. In fact, I don't even know who would have won if, if, had I not done that. That would have made it a little bit more spicy, but I'm glad that we could at least give value to those people that, who do want to be members. And I do have several of you that became members and I greatly appreciate your support. If you are interested in becoming a member, link below in the description, it costs a dollar and you get to get a ton of fun things for the channel, like your em my emblem um, that will level up, grow with you as you progress with your membership on this channel. Um, you get fun emotes that are created by actually our admin and content manager, which would be Bella. She actually made all of them, which are fantastic and super cool. And the more memberships we have, the more emotes we can get. We're now at 10 members. So thank you all for the support. And I'm actually looking at different ways I can add additional value to those different tiers. So be on the lookout for a video for that. And if you're already in the membership, think of it as like your grandfathered in because you're going to be getting those new rewards as soon as I announce them. So without further ado, and without any more blibber blabber, let's go ahead and talk about who won. And that is none other than... <sighs> Not Spider-Man, I just wanted to troll you guys. Spider-Man was up there, he, I wanna say he came like fourth or fifth, but first place was actually Iron Man. Iron Man is my new main. Um, I was very curious how this was gonna play out. He was my main for about a short time. Um, but he makes, at least in my opinion, and I, I like that you guys agree, he makes the most sense because Storm is fantastic in PvE, arguably the best at PvE. But Iron Man has a place in the meta for PvP, both in Dimension Duels, in Omega War, and is fantastic in PvE environments. He does a ton of damage if built correctly. I've already moved over everything from my gear, all my Hydra gear, to cards, to badges. He is ready to go right now, and I'm going to show you very quickly what he looks like in terms of his stats. We are sitting at 1.9 million power. Now that is just below what it was for Magic. I'm assuming that's because of her specialization that allowed her to turn HP into attack because attack is the highest, highest weighted um, stat in the game. So that probably gave me additional power. But 1.9 is nothing to shake your nose at. That's almost 2 million power to a uh, Iron Man that has some pretty sick stats already. So let's jump straight into it. So um, I did show this on a previous video but ever so quickly, his enhanced potential is something I have to work on. Um, obviously, I was working on it before we even got the fifth one, so I need to max out the attack. I did max out some already, which is great, um, but I knew need to max out the rest of them, but not as near as much as it would have been for some of the other characters. So then if we look at his specialization, I do have the full tree unlocked, which is great because this, this truly takes forever. I'm actually really glad for that reason he was picked. I went back and forth on if I was excited for Iron Man or Storm. I would have been happy with either one. They're fantastic heroes, and I hope you enjoy whichever one of you that have those heroes. But Iron Man is, in fact, my new main based off y'all's voting. So I already have the specs where I want them. Um, I just need to work on my final four and make them maxed out, which is totally doable and probably the easiest option of some of my other heroes that I had in the, in the running for this. So if we look at the gear, um, let's look at the badges first. I actually have plus two on all of my Thanos badges with some decent rolls here and there. So I do have the full attack um, from all three of the set bonuses, as well as the decrease in cooldown. However, um, I did get very lucky and I rolled a decent amount of cooldown on my badges. So my cooldown is actually maxed out. My crit rate is maxed out. My crit damage is within 15.1% uh, of being maxed out. My defense pierce is also on its way up at 35%. Um, once I get my gear a little bit higher, I'll be able to reroll some of my um, some of my uh, cores to make them, uh, instead of crit damage, making them defense pierce. And if we look at the cards that I currently have on him, I actually uh, changed the cards that I was running from my magic to my uh, Iron Man. So I actually have already re-rolled. I got total damage on this one. I will re-roll that when I have more gold because it is very, 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 very expensive to re-roll in terms of your gold. But I will definitely re-roll this to get defense pierce again to kind of work towards that cap. Um, I do have total damage again on this one. Same thing. I will likely re-roll this. Um, I do have the, on my Captain America, I do have that uh, PVP increase or PVP damage decrease, which is great. And then um, I, will, I will, to that point, I'll probably keep that on that card because that's a good one. Um, it'll be one of the cards that I keep when I do bring over some of my PvP cards, which I don't have uh, fully upgraded and or 
um, have the exclusive stats that I want yet. But on my crossbones, I do have the defense pierce, which is great. And on these boyos, these are actually, um, I went back and forth on what the last two cards were going to be. Um, these are the two cards that will be switched out when I go to like my PVP set, which is going to include this Captain Marvel card, which again will be rerolled to a different exclusive stat. And then my Storm card for the D PVP damage decrease. But again, it needs to be um, leveled up to six stars and again, get the exclusive stat that I want there. So these two cards will replace the two uh, 14s but the 14s do give you um, flat attack and then an attack bonus as well. So that's why I figured they were pretty good for PVE. Same for this card, got attack, total damage, and then defense pierce, which was the stat that I wanted. So I do have some re-rolling to do when I get <laughs> some more gold, but like I said, I was actually uh, re-rolling gear between Storm and Iron Man all week so that I could get ready for this day, which is a fully built out Iron Man. I'm very excited for Iron Man as my new main. This was a very stressful process. I don't think I'll ever do it again, but thank you all for your support and being engaged in this process. I had a lot of fun while being stressed. So thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.